Representative Ocasio-Cortez, thank you for all the great work you do. Another thing that we could do in lieu of training people to shoot back at massacre uh, perpetrators or gunmen is we could educate the people. The Second Amendment does talk about the people's right to bear arms, but that was, as we all know by now, ad nauseum in the context of a militia. But it's still in there, so people think that that is one of the o overarching uh, rights being guaranteed by the Second Amendment. But we could further educate people to understand standard English. It is a succinct suspicion of mine that because Americans do not focus on understanding standard English, they don't understand that the commas in the Second Amendment are not separating separate entities. They're not showing series of items that are distinct. The commas in the Second Amendment are setting off clauses which modify the first clause. So everything in the Second Amendment is referring back to a regulated militia. If the guns are allowed in terms of a militia, then that means the Second Amendment is guaranteeing regulation, which guarantees we are able to regulate guns. Next. What people don't understand about background checks, as you eloquently put in your tweet, and what they don't understand about taking guns away from violent criminals, is no matter how much you do that, there will always be people in the population who have aberrant mental behavior. There will always be crazy people, for lack of a better word. Uh, so it makes more sense to regulate the guns than to hope that everybody can be virtuous and law-abiding. That's just patently impossible unless we clone the entire population and get rid of natural birth. So, the people of the United States need to understand as well that if we don't do the aforementioned, if we don't educate people as to what the Second Amendment really is about, if we don't regulate the ownership of guns, then we will never curb the violence in America because our culture is the main problem. Americans come from a tradition of revolution. Our country was founded on it. The people who made up the colonies, many of them were from honor-bound subcultures in the what is the United Kingdom today. So, uh, it is the psychology of the American people. It is also the focus on the Constitution, wherein we laud personal rights over equanimity, communalism, cooperation, and peace, such as other countries do. In Asia, they don't focus so much on individual rights. Where I live in Japan and where I lived in Korea, and I know in China, while we may have criticisms of their forms of government, in Korea and Japan, they have democracy, but they have a stronger and older tradition, thousands of years old, of communal cooperation. And so it's anathema to them to create disturbance. They don't fight in public, at least in Japan. They don't confront one another. It causes problems in a democracy where you need people to stand up, but it never causes fights, and it would never cause people to pull guns on one another. If those of you out there want to oppose me by saying they've had terrorism and they've had murder here, every country has that, which proves my point. There will always be people with mental problems. The terrorism in Japan is also much less because they're very strong on immigration, something that no one in America focuses on when they laud the great things about Japan, and then they criticize America because Trump wants to have stronger immigration. I don't agree with all of his methods, but I think strong immigration regulations are very sensible, as long as we still divide the country into the very deleterious uh, substrate of human society, nation states. So, people need to understand those things, or things are never going to change in America. There are other parts of American culture which are the problem with guns. It is generally that we overemphasize heroism and that you can be anything that you want to be, and this, I think, causes subliminal elements of very cogent uh, delusions of grandeur among people on a varying uh, degree of scale, you know. So people want to take things into their own hands. They don't want to talk things out. 
Um, and of course, it doesn't help that our society uh, does not provide proper health care. And uh, we have right to work states where people can be fired and unions are being broken up all the time so that people don't feel secure in their occupations. So there you have it. You have a culture that focuses on rights instead of equanimity, which makes people uh, exceedingly individualistic. Instead of cooperative, we have a culture which uh, fantasizes too much about uh, grand grandiose solutions to problems and grandiose positions for oneself. Uh, we, we have a culture that was founded on revolution and guns. We have a culture uh, that's founded on peoples who came from honor-bound society, so they're more prone to fight. And then we don't regulate our guns. And of course, we're human, so we're going to have crazy people in our population. You will never eliminate that until you have completely infused genetic alteration into human reproduction. And not many conservatives like that idea. So we're going to continue to have the embarrassing, shameful, unsafe society that we have with the highest numbers of gun deaths in the world, and we're going to continuously go against our own constitution, which guarantees the pursuit of freedom and happiness, which you can't do if you can go to a shopping mall or a church and get shot to death. One of the reasons I came to Japan. I don't want to get shot to death.